Hi, let's look at some examples of phenols in the world around us. Remember, a phenol has the hydroxyl group. It's that functional group on the aromatic, on the benzene ring. So benzene plus that alcohol, that hydroxyl group, is going to give you a phenol. That's something that you want to have memorized. So where we see phenols in our lives. Vanillin, uh, vanillin uh, that's going to be from vanilla beans, naturally occurring in vanilla beans. Eugenol, great stories with eugenol. That's inside of cloves. Um, oh, I put clovers. <laughs> That's inside of clothes. Uh, so rich people during the bubonic plague would buy clothes and wear it in a little pack, an amulet around their neck, thinking that it would protect them from the plague. Well, the eugenol, that's the active ingredient inside of it, would ward off the fleas that were carrying the disease. Kind of interesting. Uh, high demand, high demand. Curcumin. So this is the yellow pigment that's inside turmeric, that bright, bright yellow that if you touch it, your hands turn yellow is the curcumin. That's anti-inflammatory. And great studies are being done on curcumin and the positive effects of curcumin in the body. Fish oil and curcumin, oh, so good for you. Now, the phenol can also be an antiseptic and an irritant. An example of that would be Lysol as an antiseptic. It's a 2-benzyl, excuse me, 4-chlorophenol. Um, and it can also be an irritant, poison ivy, poison ivy. This is this urushiel, um, shiel, sorry, I should have practiced that first. That's an irritant inside of uh, that poison ivy that's going to make you itch, and it produces that histamine response inside your body. Antioxidants, really good example of phenols that are antioxidants. Lycopene, this is going to be that uh, red pigment inside of tomatoes, watermelon, that's an antioxidant. Vitamin E, where you get that vitamin E, fish oil, peanut oil, wheat germ, leafy greens. We're not 100% the mechanism of why vitamin E is as good as it is. We don't know the how it helps us so much. Here's what we think. We think that it decreases the unwanted oxidation of those unsaturated fatty acids, that it protects the integrity of the unsaturated fatty acids that are so healthy for our bodies. Ultimately, like this, it slows the aging process, so you don't get these little wrinkles <laughs> as readily. Um, synthetic, BHT, that stands for butylated hydroxytoluene. Uh, this is added to preserve uh, packaged food. In America, where you're going to see this a lot, is packaged cereal. That BHT is going to be in cold cereal, the morning cold cereal. Now, the um, huge takeaway on phenols, that hydroxyl, that OH that's attached to the aromatic, is the key. It's the key to preventing unwanted oxidation. And why it does all these great things, anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, antiseptic, uh, flavorful, is that's going to be the main uh, importance is that functional group, the hydroxyl attached to the aromatic, that it decreases the unwanted oxidation. Interesting, kind of fun. Phenols around us in the world. Have a good day. Thanks for being here. And again, hit that like button if this is helpful. Thanks.